the whole thing in the And they flew her away. Okay. You're talking about counting. I'm not talking about a human being being out here counting with a, uh, a stop. And you go on to the uh, Long Island Expressway, they've got a camera there, and every time you answer, it goes red, green, red, green. That's the type of counter that should be up there on a pole that we have carrots up here who can count faster than the people down here. Yeah, you're right. You know, anything like it. This building here, you know, the time 24 7. Well, this is 16 7. This building, it serves the community. We've got a library, we've got a ball field. And us seniors can't even get across the street. That's why we need a light. The traffic that blows up this area and back in the speeds. Well, Something has to be done about it. Jerry, we have not been getting a response. I read. The comments about that, that Marty Golden and I have promised this, and taking the initiative to contact the mayor. And the mayor also wants to get reelected. Uh, I don't know if he's going to get my vote, but that's irrelevant. But <coughs> since he wants to be reelected, we're going to drag him down here if it's kicking and screaming. And let him come and take a look. If it had been Giuliani, he'd have been up here in the church as he was at one time. But uh, somebody has to do it. All we asked for was a traffic light. And we've got, they just, they resurfaced Garrison Avenue recently. Nobody was made aware of that. Uh, we're trying to get something happening on flooded courts, and you turn around and DOT is out putting, putting asphalt on Gotham Avenue and on Garrison Avenue, and all these other places are being neglected. And all because People ask for a couple of traffic lights. That's how it started. That will teach you. <laughs> well, I, will, I will bring that back about the, the lights, at least for the lights. The other stuff I know we're working on, and I know we spoke to them as far as uh, the ending of last week, but again, this week. Thank you. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Fine. Thank you. Before we go on, we have a business man, but before we go on to that, uh, Bill, did you want to say something about the uh, environmental task organization? Yes, yeah, so I guess everybody's been getting a lot of bad reports of it. You know, I think everybody, this is wrong. Uh, in the last two months, I removed eight posts from the creek. Three. From our creek. Five were abandoned. There's uh, five registered letters from the DEC going out. Three came from the Tamaqua. Uh, two from near the Cadet Yacht Club. And two more are going to come from the Maroon Yacht Club that are going to be in the process. We've been taking the boats. We're up to like over 150 boats have been removed from the water from the EPO. Freight. Well, I, this, that, that was our understanding about what the organization was going to be. The question in the beach has become, you have a, an exchange with a developer. We have free use of his land until he built. Okay, but free use of his land free use still of has land. a value. Well, free free use free use of John Patrol Coke Yard. Instead of it being empty, he let us use the property. Okay, but it's not John Patrol's. Yeah, but it's same. Well, okay, Patrol. it's Jamal's property. Jamal's property. But I want you to realize that it's the John Patrol Park. But we all know where you all know. We got the walk. trail in it. Yeah, we know where your trail is. Right. We know where you so change. we're using the trail is instead of it being vacant land. But here is the question. Exchange for what? Exchange for nothing. Yeah, so we uh, work on this property? We cleaned all the weeds off this property. Yeah, well that's all the weeds and debris. That's what we cleaned off. All of the all of the, uh, the rats. We cleaned all of the grass and the weeds. That's it. No soil, no nothing else. All right, this is the question. The question is, you have already uh, applied for, and I understand you received a non-profit status from the IRS? Yes, we are a non-profit. All right, so you're a non-profit. You uh, applied for a grant which so far has not come through? We are not getting the grant. Nobody in New York got the grant. All right, but... 800 applied for it, 50 grants went out, and believe a lot of them went to Jersey. All None right. went to New York. But you heard tonight a community of people who understand leaching, 
Phragmites, sand, weight distribution. Well, nobody brought up the point of how that sand got on the west side of the island. No. Everybody here thinks that it just blew off the island. No, it's broken pipe. Right? No, correct. The, the pipe that right. they put the put the sand on was broken. Right. The drain but, pipe. But with the, all of this going on, your organization comes on board, and the point I was going to make is, with all the knowledge everyone here expressed about their knowledge of the water, the creek, the Achilles, the crabs, what happened? They know what's going on around here, as do you. You grew up here. All right? I know what's going on. And so a developer comes in. A developer comes into this community. And again, I've said it before, and Gene pointed out, well, I believe so in free enterprise. Too. However, that's still live here, right? I do my own You business. have, he has Nap Street. He's got the old uh, where you are parked now. He's got Dan's property. All right. Paradise Yacht Club. And I One made more. copies of the plan for the uh, the buildings he's going to put on Dan's property on Lake On Court. Then they will go around and swing around on the other properties. All right. We have problems now with traffic flow. We already discussed it tonight. We have and nothing wait, to wait, the point I want to make is this. Where you guys came in, we had an order that if this man did not, one, clean out those toxic docks, two, get We're rid of the... Get rid of the sunken boats. We know he's a slime boat. Get rid of the sunken boats on his property because he's got a water lot. All right? And you, and you know those sunken boats behind No Name are from our people. They, did, they weren't put there by him. Regardless, so they put them there. regardless of who, them, no, right? regardless of who put them there, there, the law states, but I can be corrected on this, Gene probably he's a lawyer, the law states it's on his property, he has to get rid of them. And DEP gave an order that if he didn't do it by a certain date, he was going to be fined $10,000 a day. You guys come along, no, put your trailer on his we property, and clean his we property sent a off. Last week to the DEP, DEC, to find him. Because he's not compliant. We're not sticking up for Jamal. No, but you're helping. We want, no, we, we're, you're helping him to prepare to we, build in a community that doesn't really want to. By putting our trailer on his property, how are we helping him? Because you're you know? doing work for that. No, no, you I just said you cleaned the leaves. Walk. I did the work for Cadet Yacht Club. I'm doing the work for Maroon Yacht Club. I didn't do any work for Jamal. I did no cleaning other than the grass for the neighbors around there, so they could look out the windows and not look at weeds. That's what I did for Jamal, but I didn't do it for Jamal. I did it for the five neighbors around. And these weren't the previous Jamal? Jamal was not a good <coughs> property until he builds. When he builds, we have to get off. But you're expediting his building. We're not we expediting his building. You are? By, by cleaning. cleaning the weeds off? How could that be helping him? To make Every the property look more presentable? Instead of a racket? Well, it? Was so let, nice let him pay a private contractor. Yeah. You are Listen, receiving we, payment. You are receiving payment. Tickets. Your payment is the free lease on his land. Yeah. That's a that is quid pro quid. He you he's let you put your trailer there. You say rent free. You clean the weeds. Well, I cleaned the weeds for the neighbors. I could have just left the weeds there, but I think who wants to sit in a bunch of weeds? Well, I mean, I'm, do you I'm want, I'm you want me to leave it? If the community wants me to leave it look like a shithole, then I'll leave it like the a shithole. Community was and I'll a, still have the trailers there, but like I will leave it look like a The community one. was awaiting his being fine. For the community. I'm here to clean my own backyard because nobody else here plants. Does anybody here help clear any boats? I just did eight boats in the last two days. Yeah. But now, I took over does. with Ray Schaefer Shaper. and DeWitt did. Ray Schaefer and the Whip used to clean all the boats. So, sir, so you won't be aiding in the cleaning of his docks or Only, if, only if he pays for the removal of 